the way to help people understand the central tragedy that led to 9-11 is to see individual people tell their biographies. I think the personal stories are always surprising. John O'Neill spending almost all of his waking hours trying to head off Al-Qaeda, but he also had an extremely complicated personal life, and how that counterbalanced how he acted in his public role. It was fascinating, disturbing, something that Jeff Daniels does a pretty masterful job displaying. Who are you to them? You're me. You're my eyes and my ears. That's why they don't want you over there. My character is sort of the go-between. And I think what ends up happening with Vince is he has to make difficult decisions trying to do what his boss wants him to do, but his boss is at the FBI elsewhere and, this, and he has other superiors at the CIA. He sort of lives in the middle of all the tension between those two agencies. The CIA as an organization needs secrecy in order to pursue international terrorists, and yet we are a country of justice and of laws. I think there was so much distrust within the agencies about people's basic competence at doing their jobs. So you had people not sharing information, not collaborating, and not paying attention to some really obvious signals. Our hope is that you can understand both sides. There are problems when you don't share intelligence. We hope you can understand the motivations for people who say, well, not now, let's wait. The CIA is supposed to report truthfully to the counterterrorism czar, but if they're not doing it, they're not doing it. And you don't realize until later how important that communication was supposed to be.